It is common knowledge that a rich soil biome is beneficial for naturally growing plants and food. However, what would you do if your soil does not contain the ideal amounts of life? I'll walk you through three methods in this video for increasing soil bacterial diversity to produce higher quality crops. People tend to overthink fungi, but bacteria have an extremely helpful tool. One of their main advantages is their ability to multiply quickly. It indicates that they can swiftly cycle and create large amounts of nutrients in and around plant roots. However, what steps can you take to increase the amount of soil bacteria if there aren't enough of them already? These are the three things I think are most important. First, make sure the soil is in adequate condition. By examining the air in the soil, I mean to check the conditions of the soil, particularly if you're using a no-dig system, which prevents you from turning the soil over on a regular basis. You should be timing or aerating the soil on occasion. Additionally, you should ensure that the soil is properly nourished with the addition of high quality organic matter and that there is sufficient moisture present in the soil. Applying a properly prepared organic compost will not only increase the number of beneficial bacteria in the soil, but it will also nourish the microorganisms already present, support soil porosity, provide air for the soil, and control soil moisture levels, all of which are critical for promoting microbial activity. On number two, add bacterial products. If the environment is favorable for bacterial growth, you may want to consider introducing various strains of important species, such as nitrogen-fixing bacteria. You can try adding other functional bacteria to various strains that are available on the market, but the bacteria should really be native to or adapted to the climate in which they will be used. For them to flourish, rather than just survive, they must adapt. Finally, give the bacteria food straight. This refers to giving them the right kinds of food that will nourish them and encourage reproduction and population growth. These simple bacteria can easily digest and obtain foods composed of simple sugars that include simple carbon compounds. They adore it and find it to be the motivation they need to grow quickly and accomplish their goals. A wonderful place to start is with molasses and sugar-based products like brown sugar. The best part about these is that you can find them in organic forms, frequently in stores or supermarket aisles. That concludes my top three recommendations. Making sure the soil is in good condition comes first. Adding microbial products comes in second. Feeding the organisms directly is the third step. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please consider subscribing to the channel and share any thoughts you may have in the comments section below.